Don't have to do this again. So we have our coterminal angles, negative 9 pi over 4. All right. Again, let's go and graph where is negative 9 pi over 4. So now we're talking about radians, not degrees. It gets a little bit more tricky when you start looking into radians because we just started talking about radians. So when looking at radians, we know halfway around a circle is pi. All the way around a circle is 2 pi. Rather than 180 and 360, we're dealing with radians of pi and 2 pi. right? So now it says 9 pi over 4. So what I like to do is to break this up into fourths. So that's 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, 8 fourths. But I'm sorry, actually. We're going in the negative direction, right? So negative, negative 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, 8 fourths, right? Is 8 pi over 4 the same thing as 2 pi? Yes, but remember going in the negative direction. So therefore, my angle is down here, right? So I have an initial side and a terminal side. But the angle wraps around the circle once, right? It's greater than 2 pi. So therefore, if I need to find a positive and a negative, can I subtract 2 pi and my angle still going to be a negative angle? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, add 2 pi. If I take 9 pi over 4, and if I add 2 pi, is that still going to give me a negative angle? Yes, because your angle is greater than 2 pi. So now, this is where it gets a lot of tricky with a lot of students, is you need to add these. So to do that, I need to get my common denominators. So I multiply 2 pi by 4 over 4, and I get negative 9 pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4. I add them up. That equals negative pi over 4. So that's my one negative angle. Right? Does everybody see? That's the smallest negative angle. I don't need to subtract. I don't want to subtract 2 pi from this. We already have an angle that's greater than 2 pi. If I subtract 2 pi, that's just going to be even a larger angle in the negative direction. Now, let's go and take a look at, well, what about if I add 2 pi again? Will that now give me a positive angle? Yes. So I do uh, 2 pi, or negative pi over 4. And if you guys want to save some work, 2 pi, as I mentioned, is the same thing as 8 over 4. So you don't need to always show this work. Just convert it. Therefore, the other answer is 7 pi over 4. And there you go. Smallest negative, smallest positive. OK? Um, I'm not going to do an order 15. 